Blacks was the first product in the UK to carry the fair trademark, which is the the certification that means that you know we pay what we say we pay and respect the conditions of, of the farmers etc. And so 18 years on, what we've seen is that education among the cocoa growing families in the villages that we buy from, secondary education has gone from zero when we started to 80 percent. So the parents can afford the school books and the bus fares to send their children to school. And some of the elder children have gone on to university, they've gone to college, and so the skills that they bring back will help the Maya Indians to travel further along the path out of poverty. So, you know, 18 years of, of, of seeing it in action, we know it works. I think it's important just to target CSR in, in business for several reasons, but, but not least of which is the way that it engages your team. You know, it's very hard to retain staff these days. People don't join and then leave the gold watch 50 years later. They come and go, but if they feel that the company that they're working for stands for something, I think they're much more likely to stay than if they just think the company's about making money and exploiting them as a worker. You know, if they really are trying to make a difference, we're an altruistic species, human beings, and we like to feel that we're doing some good. To me, it doesn't matter if it's a buzzword, it doesn't matter why people get involved in a CSR project, whether they do it because they think it looks good in the company report, uh, whether they feel they should be seen to be doing something. Because my experience is that when a company engages with a CSR activity, it actually changes the company. It actually changes the way that people think. So even though they may go into it for a cynical reason, the outcome is still the same. Changes are made and people are changed. And, and so I think it works. I think that when you try to do good as well as doing business, and it was my friend Anita Roddick that really taught me that it was possible, um, it's a much more rewarding uh, job. Whatever you're doing is more rewarding. But I also think that it really helps to embed those values from the very beginning. You know, I think what's great about starting a venture is that you can have a CSR focus from the very start and it can be at the heart of what you do. It's much harder to bolt it on later to a big organization. So if you have it in your DNA from the beginning, it will make life easier for you and for your business. And you will have a kind of lighthouse, a kind of um, something to look at. So you go, okay, I can see where we're meant to be. Because you can always refer to that from the very start. And so I, I think it's, it's just helpful from day one to embed those values in your organization. My advice to somebody who has been in a big organization who wants to make changes is is do it. You have to start somewhere. And I think the problem with big organizations is sometimes that perfect is the enemy of good. They're so worried that they can't uh, initiate something throughout the whole company that they're paralyzed. Um, whereas in fact it's just better to start somewhere and build on that. Uh, so it's better to do something than be paralyzed and do nothing.